the man who stopped America from burning. In the summer of 1902, a young engineer named Willis Carrier stood on a foggy train platform in Pittsburgh. As he watched the mist swirl around him, he had an idea that would change the world and make modern life possible. At the time, New York printing companies faced a serious problem, humidity. On hot summer days, the paper would swell, ink would smear, and machines jammed constantly. Every year, the industry loses thousands of dollars to sticky, humid air. Carrier, just 25 years old, was hired to fix it. But no one had ever controlled air before. That fog on the platform made him think. What if he could create an indoor fog, not from nature, but from machines? In a small Brooklyn workshop, Carrier built a device that blew air over cold coils filled with chilled water. The air cooled, and as it did, it released moisture, exactly like fog forming outside. Suddenly, the room's temperature and humidity could be controlled. The printing presses worked perfectly again. Carrier had just invented air conditioning. But the story doesn't end there. His invention spread, first to textile mills, then to movie theaters, then to homes and skyscrapers. Suddenly, cities like Houston, Miami, and Phoenix, once too hot to live in year-round, began to boom. Air conditioning didn't just make people comfortable, it reshaped America. It allowed data centers, hospitals, and factories to run year-round. It made space exploration possible. It even changed politics, because southern states grew in population, shifting the country's balance of power. Willis Carrier never set out to change the world, he just wanted to dry some ink. But his cool idea made modern life as we know it possible. The lesson, sometimes the most powerful innovations don't come from power and wealth, but from a simple question, what if?